All right, here we go. West Palm Beach in the historic district, I believe. So look at this attic. Isoline, new ducks. Everything's nice and clean. Nine times out of ten, they never look like this. The video was super long, so I took the motor out, sanitized the whole entire cabinet. You can see how much gunk's inside that pan and how bad that coil's getting, starting to corrode out. So it's over 10 years. So I try to be as delicate as I possibly can with everything, even though this cabinet really did need a good cleaning. So I just wiped everything out the best I could without destroying it and then clean the pan out. So the most important thing, especially when they're up in the attic, is going to be that pan. So no matter what it is, I always used to, I like to flush at least two bottles of really hot water down the pipes and then get all the gunk around everything because if those things ever leak, forget it. Instead of, you know, a couple hundred dollars worth of damage if it leaks on the ground, in the attic, it's going to be a couple thousand. Blower motor is out. Wipe it down with the brush, sanitize it. Make it nice and clean. You can see how much dust was flying out of it. And then I always like the sanitizer to sit on it for at least a couple of minutes. Makes the house smell good when that blower smell. When that blower is fresh and it's clean, it makes the air smell clean. Check the pressures outside, which were relatively good. It was in the low 70s this morning, so the pressures aren't really too bad. You can really only check pressures when it's above 85 degrees. Anything below that, you're just checking to make sure it's not super low. Capacitor was good, which was the starting component. That's spot on perfect. Soaked and washed everything out on the outside. So I don't think this has ever gotten done. So it's probably gonna breathe a lot better once I get done and finished with it. Soaked everything out, let the soap sit inside of the unit for about 10 minutes. The reason being is it's just, you don't really necessarily need soap. I like to use soap because I feel like it gives it a little bit extra of a hand to push the dust out. But those coils are always sucking in air, so they collect dirt and they're not very efficient once they're dirty. Get everything up and running, looking good. Most importantly, the filter, Rex. So I'd like to clean that, wipe everything, get the dust bunnies off of it, clean it with the towel, change the filter. And we are all set. Pretty good little air conditioner right there. Get out of here. New one goes in. Bang! 